<laughs> I still can't drive. Let's pretend that I'm actually 15, so this doesn't feel as embarrassing. What's up, Teen Vogue? I'm Sabrina Carpenter, and I'm going to tell you some of my firsts. My first thought today was light. I had blackout curtains in my hotel, and usually I sleep with like no no blackout curtains, so I'm woken up by the sun. And this morning, I was it was very very dark, so I thought light, and then I was like, oh, that's actually a great message in general. Just be a light. I will set my alarm for five minutes before I have to leave somewhere. I'm not that type of person that it takes an hour to like get up, get out of bed. If I hear the alarm, I'll be up five minutes, I'm out the door, on my way. No pun intended by my song. But I also try to do my warm ups every morning. So there's a lot of I feel bad for people that are in the hotel room next to me. Woozy 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 woozy. Wazy 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 wazy. I don't want to remember my first red carpet. I think I wore armbands. Please don't pull up a photo. Please? Okay, so technically my first song that I sang in public was at my elementary school talent show, and it was I Enjoy Being a Girl. It's a very old song for the kids. If you don't know it, go check it out. It was very cute. I was in a little white dress, and it was something that my, my mom and my first vocal coach taught me when I was around five or six. Oh my god, I, I don't remember it. Boy sand and funny and my teeth aren't teeth but pearl. I just wrap it up like honey. I enjoy being a girl. And also I was wearing the same dress, I guess. <laughs> my first job was a guest starring role on Law & Order SVU. I just turned 11, I filmed it here in New York City actually. It was a very, very crazy moment in my life. I always thought that I would start with comedy or I'd do musical or something in that world and it was very hard hitting drama. Uh, but yeah, it taught me a lot and it made me fall in love with acting. Oh, I don't even think I ever saw my first paycheck. I think my parents saw it. Like, <laughs> like not in a weird way, but like I wasn't about to like cash my own checks at 11, so. <laughs> You know, as long as my parents promised me like gallons of ice cream, which I would never eat, but why did I want it? Just because I could have it, I guess. Well, technically my first TV appearance was in China. So because I had started doing covers on YouTube when I was nine years old, um, I did a cover, please don't look it up, of Josh Groban's You Raise Me Up, and China went crazy. They invited me to the Hunan TV Festival. Um, which I then sang a cover of Christina Aguilera's Something's Got a Hold On Me, so age appropriate. I love, 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 love Christina Aguilera. She was always my first kind of inspiration and just had such a big voice. And ever since I was little, I kind of had like a very deep, deep tone to my voice. So I always thought I sounded like a man and then I would listen to songs by Christina and she'd be like, huh? and I'd be like, okay, I feel better. First song technically that I ever wrote was a song that I called Lights. I probably wrote that when I was around nine or 10. Like I was a very simple kid. I was like, just put me on a stage, lights, and I'm good. The first role that inspired me to want to be like an actress and a singer, well, there's two of them. The first one was The Wizard of Oz with Judy Garland. And Judy Garland was like a staple in my family growing up and singing like Happy Days with my sister was, was a, a common occurrence. And then the other one was when I was six years old, I was watching the pilot episode of Hannah Montana and my queen, Miley Cyrus, was, was acting and singing, and I was like, that looks fun. My first non-celebrity crush? I think I was three years old. I got started early. Wow. It was very intense. I think he felt it, it obligated. We were like in the kiddie pool one day, and then I like went upstairs. Why do I remember this so vividly? Because of my first kiss. So, um, was upstairs in my room, and he like barged into the room, three years old kissed me, wiped his mouth off, and then left. My first role model, I wanna say like it was definitely my older sisters and my mom, because I don't think I ever really, back then when I was that young, looked at pop culture or like celebrities as people that I wanted to be like, because I didn't know those people. And still, like nowadays, I think we know people a lot more than we do. Whereas like I knew my family like pretty well, we're, we're tight. My first best friend, her name, is Anna. I have actually like two best friends named Anna. This Anna was like my 
neighbor when I was when I was little. We used to wear these really cute big wax lips together. The first coffee thing that I ever had was definitely some sort of a frappuccino that tasted more like a milkshake. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love coffee. And then I realized when I actually drank coffee that coffee tastes nothing like that. I want to say my first celebrity crush was probably Zac Efron. It wasn't High School Musical Zac Efron. I think it was more Hairspray Zac Efron. I love a boy that can dance and sing. My first cell phone was actually passed down to me from my Nana. This little fat, kind of square-shaped phone. Just for emergencies, because I was always at dance school. You know, the, the type of texting that you have to like, press the same button three times in order to get the letter that you want. And then I, I upgraded to the NV2 a couple years later. You know, the one that you flip open and has the full keyboard. I was living large. Wow, our world has become so complicated. This is really making me think. And now I'm using, you know, a touch screen phone. It's, the future is crazy. My first pet was my cat named Woody. We lived in the middle of the woods, so we're super original as a family and decided on Woody. And uh, I was in kindergarten when we found him. He was a stray and a cutie and my favorite, no offense, Goodwin. <laughs> my current pet, I love Goodwin. Um, no, I can't even say that he's my favorite, but it was cat, dog, very different animals. But Woody was my first pet. The first movie I ever remember seeing in theaters was the Simpsons movie. I think that was in 2008. You know, I have a, a family connection within the Simpsons, so I was a big fan. So I've been trying to figure out what my first concert is. It was either Hilary Duff or Kelly Clarkson, both really strong choices. Hilary was serving us Metamorphosis, Kelly was serving us Breakaway, so these like emo anthems. The first song that my mom really instilled in me was At Last by Etta James. And then became a song that I covered and like I've just kind of grown up with. Yo, so listen, I had a hit clip, right? With NSYNC, Faith Hill, and the Backstreet Boys. Let's put them on a tour. Yeah, and it would only play like 60 seconds or like a clip of a song. And I do remember like playing that thing and bringing it everywhere. Wow. Things were so simple then. And we didn't complain. We weren't like stops at like 60 seconds. We were like, best 60 seconds of my life. My first official music video was when I was around 14. We did a lot of quirky things in the music video. I was roller skating, my hand hit a cactus. I remember it was very colorful. It was very like pastels, it was very sunny. The first award I ever got, I was like a talent Olympics vocal decathlon <laughs> champion. And I won the overall vocal decathlon at eight years old. Like there were some like 40 year olds in there. So I felt really good about myself. One of my first fears was being at home alone. I did not like being at home alone. That was like, and if I heard a noise, oh my God, lock myself in the bathroom for three hours. Yeah, not until anyone came home was I coming out of that bathroom. The first person I talked to today was my best friend, Joey. And she said, I love you. Isn't that sweet? You wake up in the morning with like just a random I love you. First person I text when something exciting happens. I honestly have like kind of a chain of people that I text for different reasons. Like I know I'm gonna get a funny reaction from you. I'm gonna get a sweet reaction of you. Super supportive one out of you. Um, so it's just kind of like my closest friends and my family. First thing I do when I get home is attack my dog. Just kidding, he attacks me. And then I kind of just hang out in my room and play my piano. I've been stranded from my piano whenever I travel, so I like getting home to, to be there. Executive producer role? What? My first EP role is actually currently on the film that I am filming right now in Toronto called Work It for Netflix. I've never been an EP before, so yeah, we'll see how I'm doing in a couple weeks when we wrap, because right now it's crazy. It's been really, really fun though and we're having an incredible time with the cast and crew and everyone has been so hands-on and so passionate about this project that it makes it a lot easier and um, everyone's very like free and open with their ideas, which essentially I think, you know, a role as an EP can be however involved or not involved as you want, but I'm, I like to be involved in things. I'm also on set every day, so it helps. The first that I would like to put out into the universe would be like an EGOT, Emmy, Grammy, Tony and Oscar, but just kidding, it's Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony, or else it's Eeg, just like really super, just gonna slide it under the surface right now, so it's not, you know, it's not bubbling, but it's there in my heart. 
Hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Teen Vogue. I'll see you soon.